Okay, yay, hello. I'm so happy to see you all. This is our unit overview. So if you have your sketchbook, you can open it up to a blank page. And at the top, you can write unit four overview. Now we've done this before, so it should be pretty similar to what we've done before. If you don't have your sketchbook, you can certainly do this on a blank piece of paper, or you can just follow along because you're going to have access to this PowerPoint as well as all of the other resources. But if you want a handy little reminder that's accessible in your notebook, I strongly recommend writing this down. So first off, the title of this unit is Dynamic Voice and Acting. You might be thinking to yourself, Miss Cortez, how are we going to do acting when we are not together at school? And let me assure you that there are a lot of aspects of acting that we can do even if we're not together. We can do lots of fun things with our voice. We can still set up small groups and do some scenes. So don't worry, we're going to get some opportunities to practice this and have a lot of fun. So please write down the title of this unit as dynamic voice and acting. Okay, next is our statement of inquiry, which is here in the middle of the screen. Hopefully everybody can see this. The statement of, oh, sorry. The statement of inquiry is, we create roles, or in other words, characters, we create roles to represent and share different perspectives of our culture. And I want you to think that, about that a little bit because especially now when we are sheltering at home, we have really relied heavily on our entertainment and vast array of media to keep us entertained and connected to our culture and our society. And when a performer or an artist creates a role, whether it's based on a person who lived in real life or if it is a fictional person or character, they are representing different perspectives of our culture, different parts of our imagination, our hopes, our dreams, our life experiences. And we're gonna talk more about this um, later on this week. The global context for this unit is personal and cultural expression. So feel free to pause this video if you need time to write it down. Since I'm not there with you, I can't see who is writing and who is not. So we're going to go ahead and move on. But so far, you should have the title, the statement of inquiry, and the global context. The global context is personal and cultural expression. And I believe it's the same as one of our other units that we had. All right, moving on. So our key concepts. The key concepts that we're going to study and delve into in this unit are perspective, meaning we're gonna look at things from a lot of different points of view and realize that things can be interpreted differently based upon the perspective. So if you could just imagine a story, well, maybe one of your favorite stories, or a story like the three pigs, okay? We have the traditional story, which is told from the perspective of the three pigs, but you might be familiar with the book that is the Big Bad Wolf's version of the story told from his perspective. And it, puts a totally different spin on the story. So that's a cool thing that we're going to explore in this unit. We're also going to explore role. Role is the technical term to represent a character specifically in acting. So you might use the term character in literature, but when we talk about acting, we use the term role. So if you're having a hard time kind of understanding what that word means because it's also used in other contexts. The word role for our purpose is a character, when someone creates a character. Even if you're doing a representation of yourself, 
that could be a type of role. And then going along with that is representation. We are representing things when we are acting and creating these characters and these roles. And we can represent these individuals and characters in lots of different ways. So representation is the way that we take our skills, our voice, our physicality, and we attribute those to the character that we're trying to bring to life. And we'll talk more about that as we go through this unit. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next slide. So please pause if you need to write these down. Okay, I'm gonna move my little screen here. Hopefully you can still see my face while I am presenting this. I'm not really sure. Okay, so we have several inquiry questions that we're going to look at in this unit. There's so much in this unit and so many cool things in this unit. So let's actually look at the bottom one first. What is the nature and purpose of creative expression? So I think that right now in the current situation, this question is so important because we have access to so much creative expression and it serves a really important purpose right now, not just to keep us entertained, but also to keep us connected and it helps tell our stories. So we're going to be answering that question in more detail as we go through this unit. Now we can jump back up to the top. So we're going to learn the elements of dynamic voice. Uh, uh, when we create a role or a character, we have to think about our body and our physical characteristics, but we also have to think about our voice because different characters might have different elements to their voice. And certainly we can't necessarily copy every voice in the universe, but I can teach you some skills to imitating some voices that are really popular. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to talk about the elements of a dynamic voice. So even if your character, whatever character you're doing, you are speaking with your normal voice, I'm going to teach you the elements of having a dynamic voice so that when you are acting out that role and that character, it really brings that energy and connects to the audience. Next, we're going to learn a lot about how you can create or develop a character with your voice and your body or your body, if it's just your voice or if it's just your body. So earlier in the year, we did a whole unit on movement and dance, and we did some music along with that. This unit's going to be a little bit different because now we're focusing on creating that specific character. Whereas before, we were more focused on creating that overall story. Now we're gonna focus on creating a really, really specific character. And there are a lot of really fun ways that we're going to do that. So your task for this week asks you to review these things and then come up with your own inquiry question. What else do you want to learn about dynamic voice and acting? And there is a place on ManageBack and on Google Classroom for you to write your own inquiry question. This is exactly what we would have done in class. I would have had you guys write the unit overview. We would have posted it on the back wall. I would have given you a copy of the rubric. And then you would have written these three inquiry questions down. And then you would have added your own inquiry question. So that is essentially your only task for this week, which is to come up with your own inquiry question and to review these materials. So with that, I don't think, um, I don't think there's anything else that I need to add to this overview. I am going to be doing a video of the rubric so that we can go through the rubric very, very carefully so that everybody knows all of the tasks that we're going to do. And I just hope that everybody remains flexible. There might be some things that we need to tweak or change in order to accomplish the awesome tasks that we have for this unit. So please, please, please email me as much as you need so that you have all the information that you need. And definitely be checking all these videos that I'm posting so that you can have the most up-to-date information. Okay, that's all I have for this overview. Next. 
stop is to take a look at the rubric. Okay, see you then. Bye.